Back in the 1950s, PCBs, or polychlorinated biphenyls, were released from paper companies and other processing facilities along the Fox River. Um, PCBs are a chemical and they cause a lot of injuries to our wildlife, our fish and our water resources. They remain in the bed sediment and unless they're taken out and restored, they can bioaccumulate up the food chain and affect everything from small fish to eagles that eat those fish and really cause a lot of injuries in terms of um, tumors even and, and then the fish and the waterfowl that people like to enjoy to eat are no longer safe. We had biologists and scientists from the state federal government, universities going out and assessing what was happening in that ecosystem. And that assessment work and really hard research identified, yes, fish and wildlife were being impacted by the release of PCBs, the bioaccumulation of PCBs up the food chain, and we had an issue that we had to deal with. The trustee council actually formed in 2002, and the trustees are the Oneida tribe, the Menominee tribe, the Department of Interior represented by Fish and Wildlife Service, the state of Wisconsin, um, represented by the Wisconsin DNR, and then we also have NOAA, or the National Oceanic Atmospheric Administration, that is also a trustee. So. Now this has been a long-term process. We started off about 20 years ago investigating the impacts of PCBs, and then about 15 years ago started to get small settlements from some of the paper companies and started to use that settlement money to start restoration projects in the Fox River itself and in Green Bay. So we've really been involved in, in this area for more than 20 years, developing the case, getting a settlement, and now doing environmental restoration. The trustees um, received their first settlement funds in the early 2000s and got started implementing um, their first restoration projects in about 2002 with settlement money from the responsible parties. And we've been implementing restoration projects now for um, about 16 years and our projects span from things like stream restorations, wetland restoration projects, land acquisitions that the public can access to hunt, fish, hike, bird watch, also some fisheries projects, things like putting muskie back in the bay, and then a small amount of public use projects, boat launches, um, fishing piers, things like that. We have a number of situations and projects that have been done to date where the use of NRDA funds has leveraged significant additional funding. In some cases, we've doubled the amount. In other cases, we've tripled. For example, we allocated $7.5 million towards fisheries enhancements to improve the native fish populations. That $7.5 million was matched by an additional $13 million, so nearly double, ending up with three times as much money to spend on that project. Working together, we can achieve great things. We already have, and we really look forward to more. We've seen results that have provided more wetlands, cleaner water, cleaner habitat. The thing I think we're most proud of is that the attention that the Natural Resource Damage Assessment case developed 20 years ago has led towards the cleanup of the Fox River, the actual dredging of contaminated sediments out of the Fox River, which is so important because that dredging isolates and gets rid of those contaminated sediments so they don't bioaccumulate up into the food chain. The future vision for Fox River NRDA is continuing to do uh, great restoration work with our partners for the next decade or so. In 2015, we received another $46 million settlement from the responsible parties. We also updated our restoration plan and, and held public meetings asking the public what they would like to see done um, in the future with these settlement dollars. And so we have a, a clear path forward um, doing stream restorations, wetland restorations, more land acquisitions in strategic locations around um, the bay here, uh, Rush Lake, Wolf River Bottomlands, a little bit in Door County, and, and of course improving this great fishery that we have out in the bay. Those were some of the priorities that were clear that the, the public wanted. So we intend to, to make the public whole again and use these settlement dollars for more good work.